Well, happening now, some say our U.S. government is inching towards the shutdown, due in part to House Republicans passing a budget bill with some serious cuts. So the question we have is, as you know, what's actually in that bill. Among the big items being cut, more than $20 million from the National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, cuts for nutritional support for women, infant, children coupons, or WIC coupons, by $747 million. Uh, cutting the Food and Drug Administration funding by $241 million. And cutting community health center funding by one billion dollars. So why, why these cuts? Uh, let's talk about it with, with Republican Congressman Denny, uh, Denny Rayberg of Montana. He's the man who helped determine uh, what would be cut. He's on the Appropriations Committee and he is chairman of the House Subcommittee on Health. And so, uh, Congressman, so much has been said about uh, these cuts and, and obviously there's been those critics that have said they're too draconian. Just starting with, with some of them, uh, for example, cutting the funding to family planning, cutting the billion dollars to community health centers, cutting the funding to the health care law. What are some of the real life effects of these cuts? that our viewers should expect. Well, thank you, Jenna, and, and this is not easy. It's very painful. I wish it wasn't necessary. And, and that's why we kept saying, don't pass things like a failed stimulus plan. You spent a trillion dollars of borrowed money and there was going to be ramifications. It did not turn the economy around. And I'm so sorry uh, that we have to go through this process, but we cannot continue to spend a trillion, a trillion and a half more than we're bringing in in revenue, adding to the debt and hope to survive as a country. And so these were necessary, they were painful. And uh, as you know, I sent you the list as I did all the media and everybody else that wanted to see the list of criteria that we followed. Uh, first of all, is it constitutional? Number 20 on the list was, would I want my kids to have to pay for this? But we looked at areas where there were duplication, two federal programs working together, where there were excess dollars left over from prior uh, appropriations bills, uh, whether it was uh, supposed to be a pilot project, uh, uh, has it become an ongoing, did they get a, a large bump from the stimulus? And uh, frankly, some of the things you mentioned aren't actually cut, like the community health center. Mm -hmm. We did not cut a billion dollars from the community health center. We maintained exactly the same funding. Within Obamacare, they were given one billion dollars in mandatory, and if we hadn't reduced the discretionary by a billion, they would have received three billion instead of the two they were expecting and have received in the past. And so there are those that are going to portray it as, as draconian, and, and in some cases they are painful, but it's not because of the Republicans in Congress that are doing this. It was a failed policy of the Obama administration. And, and that's the why we asked you on, sir, because it, over the last it, four it's years. so good to, to be able to talk about some of these issues, because yes, the billion dollars from community health centers it grabs headlines, and there could be the perception that, hey, no one's going to have anywhere to go to get health care. I mean, that, that's what it turns into. I only have a short amount of time, only 30 seconds here, but some of these cuts, people say, are going to force the government to shut down because there is no way to compromise. Why do you think it's worth it? Well, there certainly is a way to compromise, and the Senate should have stayed in, in uh, session this week. We got our work done. We worked until a quarter to four one morning, five o'clock the next morning. We went home after we completed our work. We have nothing to negotiate with, so where's the Senate? Get back to work. Come back to Washington. Uh, don't act like the folks in Wisconsin. Come back to work. Let us sit around the table. We can come to a compromise. We don't have to shut this government down, but we do have to write the economy, and this is the best way to do it. Congressman Reberg, we, we appreciate you taking some time out to join us, and we look forward to talking to you about again obviously a very big issue uh, thank you very much sir Great. and we'll be right back with more happening thank now. you